Mark Brown was a groundwork labourer from the Kent area and in 2021 he rented the farm where he would then lure women to be able to keep them hostage, torture them and murder them and dispose of their bodies in acid. This week he has been convicted for the murder of Alex Morgan and also Leah Ware and Leah's body has never been found. It is unimaginable what them women went through in the final hours of their life. And Mark Brown denied responsibility even though the evidence kept mounting against him during the case. And even when he was arrested, he was very calm and unaffected by the situation that was occurring. We're from Kent Police. <laughs> okay, and this is what this officer is going to say to you. Mate, it's 5.35. Yeah. I'm arresting you suspicion of the murder of Alexandra Morgan. Okay, we believe that you were the last person that Alexandra Morgan was seen to be alive with. The one thing that Mark couldn't prepare for was the fact that Alex Morgan didn't trust him and she wrote a note and put it in a box along with a mobile phone and she said in this note that if anything had happened to her to go to this farm and to look for her. Interestingly there was a note that was left with that, with those items uh, and it said words to the effect of if anything happens to me um, tell the police and check this location out which turned out to be Little Bridge Farm. She was aware that what she was doing was very risky and the investigation began on the 18th of November 2021 when Alex Morgan's parents reported her missing to Kent Police. She was a mother of two young children and she had met Brown for the adult dating website Adult Works and the CCTV showed that she drove to Sissinghurst which is near Cranbrook where she met Brown and went to the Little Bridge Farm that he was renting at the time. Alex Morgan was 34 years old and she was a single mother who lived in the Cranbrook area and Alex is believed to have worked as a dog groomer when she wasn't on adult works. The police discovered messages between them and on the 23rd of October 2021 before the murder, Brown sent a text message to her saying, would you be interested in a risk-free business transaction? The proposal referred to receiving £100,000 for three to five days that she would spend in a hotel and she would be guarded by him like she was a prisoner. Alex was excited by the prospect and she'd searched on Google how much it would be to put a deposit on a house and she also searched how much she would be taxed for earning £100,000. Brown would later be arrested for her murder and on the 28th of November 2021 after evidence showed that Alex had been at the farm and he'd burned her body in an oil drum. They found a tooth inside the drum. Police found it in Seven Oaks where Brown was employed and forensic work and dental records identified that it was Alex's body. After so much evidence was presented to Brown, he then said that it was an accident and she fell over and died while they were at the yard. During the investigation, the police were searching his van and they found prescription pills for a woman called Leah Ware. This is the first time the police became aware of Leah and the fact that she may be missing. They tried to locate her because they wanted to ask her some questions about the inquiry that was ongoing but they was unable to find her and they discovered that Leah had built a relationship with Mark Brown in 2018 and they had also met in a very similar situation to how he had met Alex Morgan. When he was questioned by the police, Brown said that he hadn't seen Leah since May and he said that she hadn't been in contact with him and she could be anywhere. Sussex police then established that she, he was the last person to ever see her alive and following her death he tried to create the impression that she was still alive. He collected her prescription from the doctors and also withdrew money from ATMs. He was already in custody at this time for the murder of Alex Morgan and Brown was interviewed by the police and he denied any responsibility for the murder of Leah Ware. He was then charged with her murder on the 1st of February 2022. During the trial, they also heard from a friend of Leah who had been texting Leah during the time she was being held in the storage unit. She said it's sort of a voluntary prisoner lockup and that's what I have to do. She explained that she was not allowed to have friends and he would also bring her medication and food supplies and she wasn't allowed to leave the yard to get anything. <laughs> She told another friend that he would photograph her when she was bound and gagged and that he was into sadomasochism. And this is the only evidence that we have that Leah was ever held captive. They never found Leah's body and it's only the evidence from the friends and some of the evidence from the communications that they was able to ascertain that he was involved in her murder. 
It was also revealed in court that Leah Ware had led a bit of a chaotic life. She had mental illness and also drug abuse. They told the jury that she'd lost custody of her three children and she had a history of abusive relationships. She had also met Brown through the Adult Works website and this is when they began to meet each other in a similar situation to Alex. Detective Andy Walston from the major crime team said they hope the conviction of Mark Brown will bring some sense of justice to the families of Leah and also Alex. The case was very difficult but it proves that he was a cold-blooded killer and he should spend the rest of his life behind bars. So I really appreciate you joining me for this story. I thought it was a really sensitive story, but at the same time, really important to highlight the dangers that are posed to women every single day. And just generally in life as well, where something can sometimes be too good to be true. And the saying goes that it usually is. So rest in peace to Leah and Alex and my condolences to their family and their children that will no longer have their mothers in their life. But I do really want to hear what people have to say on this story. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and follow on social media as well at scarcitystudios.com. ...assessment of that and through the records was able to say that those teeth belong to Alex Morgan. Um, it, was a, it was a very difficult conversation to have with Alex's parents as you can imagine. It's, it's relief in some, spe in some sense, but I mean, the, the, um, the trauma and, and the angst they must have felt by knowing what, what have probably happened to Alex um, may live with them forever. And that kind of brought us to the stage where we were, in, we were, we were satisfied, we found Alex, we were satisfied that we got the right person in custody, charged, uh, and we were then building towards the, the trial process. What I did ask was for a review of uh, any exhibits uh, and items that had been recovered from Alex's property within a rollerblade box in one of her son's 